Praise be Jesus Christ. There are two new communities of sisters in Ottawa, the city I live in. One of them, the Queenship of Mary community, they're building a new convent. And I'm finally here to visit and help out a bit because I told the sisters, I said, sisters, I want to do a little bit of work so that for the rest of my life, when I visit, I'll be able to say, yeah, I remember when we built this place. Now, these sisters, they're a new community of sisters. They're getting a lot of young vocations and they're just delightful. Our Archbishop said that this community of sisters, they're like a visible sign of the Kingdom of God in our midst. Now, I want to remind you, as Catholics, it's our duty to support the religious congregations. And so I'm inviting you to consider making a little contribution to the building of this convent. The sisters, they could really use your help. And it's one of those things where just like I joke and say, for the rest of my life, I'll be able to say, I helped build this convent. If you could help the sisters out, if someone ever says, are you really a legit Catholic? You'll be able to say, hey, I helped finance the building of a convent. And so maybe as we approach Advent and Christmas, would you consider helping the sisters build this visible sign of the kingdom of God in our midst. I want to read to you a scripture from Matthew. In Matthew 6, our Lord Jesus says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor decay destroy, nor thieves break in and steal. If the Lord has blessed you financially, a great investment of the blessings the Lord has given to you is help build a convent as a sign of the kingdom of God in our midst today. And I want to also read to you, one of my favorite latest saints is Saint Miriam of Bethlehem. And she was often visited by the poor souls in purgatory. And check out this experience she had. It says, a soul from purgatory visited Miriam and this woman had led a rather mediocre and lukewarm life. In a word, she had not overexerted herself for the Lord. She wanted to tell Miriam that she had just gotten out of purgatory and entered heaven because at one time she had given a large gift to the church while participating in the construction of a basilica. It was on the very day of the dedication of the basilica that she was able to leave purgatory and enter heaven. The Lord had remembered this generous gift from her. So to help sisters build convents, that's a good deed to do. Now, I'm going to ask now one of the sisters who's work, actually working on a construction site a question I've been dying to ask uh, the sisters. And so let's ask her now. This is Sister John Paul Marie of the Trinity. She just made her final vows. She's been on the work site almost every day working hard here. Sister, here's the question. Why is your community getting so many vocations right now? I feel like that's a question for the Lord himself. He's, uh, I, I can't say why so many have been coming out. I can speak to what has drawn me and a lot of the women in my community to our community. And I think one of the the greatest things is that um, we're all made for marriage and I think in the Queenship of Mary community the spousal relationship with Christ is a huge is a huge focus of our lives our first call is to be the bride of Christ and I think that's something so important for a woman's heart um, to be able to give yourself completely and totally faithfully fruitfully to your spouse and um, so we found that in the Lord Jesus Christ we're a community that is semi contemplative um, or contemplative in action is often how it's said. And so uh, a life of deep prayer, a lot of adoration. And so that time that's spent with our spouse, the Lord Jesus Christ. And then we live out our love for him and loving our sisters. And that's how we really refine in our love. And so that's, that's a large part of our community is to be a sister. Beautiful. Sister, I know many people are going to want to contribute to the building of your convent. What's your website? The queen, or it's queenshipofmary.ca. So queen. Yeah. Queenshipofmary.ca. Sister, can you say Viva Cristo Re? Viva Cristo Re!